I picked up this ethanol free gas at my local quick trip. Let's test it. Is it actually ethanol free? And of course, I'll be using the same technique that I used in my last video on this topic, the water extraction method. So I'm starting with my trusty graduated cylinder. We're gonna fill the fuel up to the 90 milliliter mark and then add the last 10 milliliters of fresh clean water. So there we are right at the 100 milliliter mark. And you can see there is our water down there at the 10 milliliter mark. Now it's ethanol that absorbs water from the atmosphere or water from its surroundings anywhere, right? Which is really my, my main problem with it. I mean, if I was to put ethanol gas in my Volkswagen Rabbit, which has been sitting here for the past nine months, I'm gonna fire her up and the water and the fuel would make her run like crap. Right, so that's my main problem with ethanol is it doesn't store at all. Yes, you can add fuel stabilizers. I'll get to that in another video. But so in theory, when I shake this up and let it sit, we should have no difference from the 10 milliliters if this is truly ethanol free fuel. I have seen people in other videos say that you've got to let it sit for more than 15 minutes. So we're going to measure it after 15 minutes. And then we're also going to measure it after it sits overnight. I'm going to come into the shop the next morning and double check it and see where it's at. Here is 15 minutes. It is still at the 10 milliliter mark. So let's come back tomorrow morning and see where we're at. 24 hours later and it is still on the 10 milliliter mark. It truly is ethanol free. Nice QT. 